Hello everyone, this is Sankari. We will discuss about semiconductor. The semiconductor is a key component in electronics. It plays a key role in effectively controlling the flow of current between the electronic components. The major electronic components like transistor, diode and integrated circuits. This transistor diode integrated circuits, uh, how it can be, how it can be works, may be described using this semiconductor. Before discussing about the details of semiconductor, we will discuss the structure of an atom which would help us to understand the details of semiconductor. The matter is composed of three fundamental particles which are neutron, proton and electron. The proton is positively charged, electron is negatively charged while neutron is uncharged. In an atom, the proton and neutron are bound together at the center, it is named as a nucleus, while the electrons revolve around the nucleus under the force of attraction. The electrons are arranged in various orbits called cells. The outermost cell is called as a valence cell. The electron in this cell is called valence electron. If the energy is given to valence electron, it gets removed from the force of attraction by the nucleus and that electron is called free electron and it is responsible for the flow of current, energy band and conductivity. Every cell have an energy level. When electron close to the nucleus which requires lowest energy level and greater the distance of an electron from the nucleus it requires highest energy level. Similarly, the energy levels of various electrons have separated energy level as that of the isolated atom which are called as an energy band. Out of all energy band, there are the three bands are the most important. One is valence band, second one is conduction band and third one is forbidden band. The merging of valence electron is called as a valence band and merging of free electron is called conductor band and that separates the conduct band to the valence band is named as a forbidden band. In the case of conductor, there is no forbidden gap between the valence band and conduction band. Only the two bands are overlap. And in case of insulator, a large forbidden gap is between the conduction band and valence band Practically, it is impossible for an electron to jump from valence band to conduction band. Hence, such a material cannot conduct and we describe that material as a insulators. In semiconductors, the forbidden gap is narrow. At room temperature, the electrons jumps from valence band to conduction band. Therefore, it is capable of conduct at room temperature. The material which is a good carrier of electricity is named as a conductor. Example is copper aluminium. And the material which is a bad conductor of electricity is named as an insulator. Example is wood, glass and material which lies between both conductor and insulator is called as a semiconductor. The germanium and silicon is the most important example. And later we discuss types of semiconductor. There are the two types of semiconductor. One is intrinsic semiconductor. Next one is extrinsic semiconductor. The intrinsic semiconductor is a purest form. The impurities added in intrinsic semiconductors is very very small. To getting the pure semiconductor, the semiconductor is carefully refined. In order to change the properties of intrinsic semiconductor, 
a small amount of material is added to it that named as an extrinsic semiconductor here the intrinsic semiconductor is also called as an undoped semiconductor here the number of charge carrier is determined by the properties of the material itself instead of the amount of impurities in intrinsic semiconductor the number of electrons in the conduction band is equivalent to the number of holes in the valence band and they are not used in the manufacture of electronic devices because they are having very few electron hole pair the extrinsic semiconductor is also named as a dope semiconductor here we, are, we already said that process of adding other material to the crystal of intrinsic semiconductor is called doping why we add that means to improve its conductivity and the impurity is called as a dopant it may used in this electrical devices such as diodes transistors etc and then types of extrinsic semiconductor there are two types one is n type and p type n type the pentavalent impurities are added to the pu semiconductor here the large number of electrons and the electrons are the majority carriers while the holes are the minority carriers an example for n type is arsenic bismuth and p type a large number of holes that means the holes are the majority carriers while the electrons are the minority carriers here the trivalent impurities that is that is small amount of trivalent impurities is added to the pu semiconductor the example for p type is gallium boron etc and we discussed that uh, flow of currents in semiconductor one is drift current and another one is diffusion current the drift current means when the voltage is applied to the semiconductor the electron move towards the positive terminal and the electrons collide with the atom of semiconductor and electron strikes the atoms in a random direction but the applied voltage makes the electron drift towards the positive terminal this drift causes a current to flow in a semiconductor under the influences of an applied voltage diffusion current the diffusion current is due to the movement of charge carriers that is the diffuse from region of high carrier density to low carrier density it can produce due to the transport of charges occurring because of non uniform concentration of charged particles in a semiconductor main thing is the diffusion current is possible only in case of non uniformly doped semiconductor while the drift current is possible in semiconductor as well as conductor summary uh, in this section we discuss about the uh, semiconductor before entering into the semiconductor uh, we discussed uh, that uh, structure of an atom um, and in this atom uh, know about the valence electrons free electrons we discussed the valence electron and free electrons and later we see that uh, um, what are the uh, semiconductor and uh, what are the types of the semiconductors and what are the flow of currents in a semiconductors okay thank you uh, uh, if you tell me your comments uh, to shankari steps to solve solve.com thank you